What is up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Dear David incident. The Dear David incident is a string of tweets from Adam Ellis documenting his paranormal experiences being haunted by a child named David. We're going to be taking a deep dive into all of his tweets today, so let's get started. Here's the first tweet from Adam Ellis. So my apartment is currently being haunted by the ghost of a dead child and he's trying to kill me. Thread. August 7th, 2017. Weird dreams and suspicious cats. This is exactly when his first tweet was sent out. Adam says, the first time I saw him, I was experiencing sleep paralysis and saw a child sitting in the green rocking chair at the foot of my bed. He had a huge misshapen head that was dented on one side. I did my best to draw it. A few nights after this initial dream, Ellis had a second dream in which a little girl told him who he was dealing with. Adam said, I had another dream a few nights later where I was in a library and a girl came up to me and said, you've seen Dear David, haven't you? I was like, who? And she said, Dear David, you saw him. She told Adam that David is dead and she also explained the rules of interacting with David to Adam. She stated that he only appears at midnight and if you see him, you can only ask him two questions as long as you say the words, Dear David first. However, you are never ever to ask him three questions. He'll kill you if you do. He decides to ask David questions in his dream tonight. So in the dream, he says, Dear David, how did you die? He mumbles, an accident in a store. His second question, Dear David, what happened in the store? He groans, a shelf was pushed on my head. Adam is now frozen with fear. He asks, who pushed the shelf? David doesn't answer. He realizes that he's asked a third question. He now wakes up terrified. I'm not sure if it counts because he didn't say Dear David at the beginning. However, things do start to get weirder. Adam tweets, Lately, something strange is happening. For the past four nights, my cats gather at the front door at exactly midnight and just stare at it, almost like something is on the other side. Adam looked through the peephole to see if he could see anything, and he was positive he saw something moving on the other side. Adam tweets, When I opened the door and turned on the hall light, nothing was there, but my cat seemed unnerved, bushy tails, etc. That's where I am right now. Dear David found me, I think. I don't know what to do. I'll keep you updated. August 8th to 9th, more odd feline behavior and some curious photographs. Adam tweeted, Update, for the sixth night in a row, my cat has walked over to the door promptly at midnight and stared at it. You can clearly see the cat fascinated by the door, but what's also more interesting is that Adam actually proved that it was midnight with the timer and the timestamp on his tweet. On top of this, Adam also found a video of his cat tweaking looking at the door. Adam decided to take a photograph of the hallway outside of his door through the peephole. He had trouble seeing through the peephole, so he mustered up the courage to open the door and take a picture. He says, is it just me or is there something in the first photo, right where the banister meets the shelves, hiding on the stairs? It does appear that there is something right there. I'm not sure what to think of this though. Adam then says, I wasn't sure if it was a smudge or something, so I took a second photo from inside. There was something out there. Pairing these two photos, I definitely see something on the left side. I'm not sure if that's a person or just a smudge. Adam says, I deadbolted the lock and got him in because I don't know what else to do. I can still hear my cat meowing at the door. I'm pretty scared. In the replies to the thread, Adam also revealed that his building used to be an old house. It had been converted into apartments some time ago. People had a lot of questions, rightfully so. August 10th to 11th, 2017. Adam tweet, it's been pretty quiet tonight. I'm gonna try out a sleep talk app to see if anything happens during the night. I'm heading to bed, but the cats are back at the door. They only do this in the middle of the night. It's routine now. And here we go, just minutes before midnight, the cat is at the door. In the next tweet, you can see both of the cats are at the door now. Adam also got salt to try to ward off any evil spirits. He tweeted, I don't even know if this is the right kind of salt. August 11th, 2017, the sleep app recordings. Adam is now tweeting about what the sleep app has recorded. In one of them, you could hear a snapping sound, which seems like a single step. And in the next one, there's a weird electric sound. Let's go to SoundCloud and see what he heard.
Adam then clarifies that these happened between 2 to 3 a.m. and he has no explanation for them. August 12th, 2017, the face in the photograph. Adam snaps a selfie, letting everyone know he's getting out of his haunted apartment for the weekend. A lot of people under the tweet see a face in the reflection in the door behind him. If you look in the middle panel, you can see the face of a little boy. It has an orange hue to it. August 14th, 2017, the Polaroids. Adam tweeted, So, a weird thing just happened. Take it with a grain of salt. I bought a Polaroid camera this weekend because they're fun and dorky. I decided to take a few photos around my apartment. Adam is now using the Polaroids and taking pictures around his apartment. He notes that that is the green chair that he first saw David in. However, something creepy then happened. He took a picture of his hallway and it developed completely black. This was the hallway right outside of his front door. He also emphasizes he did not put his finger on the lens and took another photograph, purposely putting his finger on the lens to compare the two. He even took some videos with his phone of him taking photos with his Polaroid camera. He said, I'll record myself sleeping again tonight and I have Sage being delivered tomorrow. As always, I'll keep you in the loop. The next part I'm about to show you is extremely creepy. He took a live video of him taking Polaroids and when he took a picture of the hallway outside of his front door, it developed black in real time. And as you can see, the first one has already developed. So let's see what this one does. That's going to take a minute. But it is developing black. So I don't know. And here's a fully developed Polaroid, completely black from its hallway. Somebody told Adam to take photos from further away, so he tried that with his iPhone and with his Polaroid. On the left is his phone, on the right is the Polaroid. And as you can see, why is it pitch black every time with the Polaroid? August 14th to August 21st, what people found in the Polaroids. Twitter users were analyzing these Polaroids hard and they actually found a face in one of them. Could this be David? Other users started analyzing the Polaroids at the pitch black hallway and found a shadow figure lurking. In this example, I can't really see anything here. I'm not sure if anyone else can. Let me know in the comments. August 14th to August 15th, 2017, Sage. Adam tried to cleanse his place with Sage. He then confirmed the Sage did not work the next morning. David had returned in Adam's dreams. In the dream, my bedroom was filled with hazy smoke, but I could see David sitting in the chair across the room. David had not been in Adam's dreams for a week or so at this point. David was much smaller in his dream, almost shrunken, and he didn't say anything except look at Adam. Adam then tweets, anyways, it feels like a bad omen. August 18th, 2017, a storm is coming. It had been two weeks and he still does this every night at midnight. Adam tweeted, it's just a whole bunch of small things happening at once. I feel so uneasy, like right before a thunderstorm comes. Everyone is telling me to move, but I don't have any guarantee that this won't follow me. The next day, a literal thunderstorm warning was issued for that area. August 18th to 21st, 2017, the dream, the bruise, and the warehouse. Adam tweets, all this ghost stuff has been spooky, but this past weekend was the first time I actually felt unsafe in my own home. He thought he had a dream that David was dragging him by the arm through an abandoned warehouse. He didn't fight back, but he woke up with an actual bruise on his arm. Adam then tweeted, I've lived in the neighborhood for over four years and the place has always been jam packed with the carts getting serviced. It's now completely abandoned and creepy, just like his dream where he was in the warehouse with David. He also found a singular green chair inside of it. However, this chair did not look green at all to me. It's still creepy nonetheless. August 25th, 2017, no caller ID. Adam tweets, there have been a few small developments in my apartment, but I'm not really sure what to make of them. I just know I'm scared. On his way back from coffee, the warehouse had been shuttered. It's remained shuttered since. These coincidences that line up with his dream are all very creepy. 
As we know from his previous tweets, his cats used to gather at the door at midnight. Now they're gathering at the door at 10 p.m. Adam then goes on to say, after his cats are done doing their thing at the door, he starts getting calls from an unknown number around 10 p.m. As you can see here, he even picked up a call. He assumed it was an automated call, so he picked it up and just waited to listen to what they were gonna say. As you can see, after about a minute, the static dropped and there was silence. He kept listening. I heard what I thought was breathing, but it was so faint I can't be sure. My heart was racing, so it was hard to hear. Then, just as I was about to hang up, I heard a very small voice whisper, hello. Something about the way they said hello freaked me out. It wasn't a question or a greeting. Just a hello, a flat statement, so quiet I could barely hear it. Adam then closed all the curtains in his apartment and turned on every single light. August 28th to September 11th, 2017, the pet cam videos. Adam revealed that he was going overseas to vacation, so he bought a pet monitoring camera so that he can keep an eye on his cats. Adam tweeted several things. He said he'd move the rocking chair out of his room a few weeks prior. He was also going to Japan on vacation in three weeks, and that he hoped David would lose track of him while he was gone. He was watching the pet cam and he actually saw the rocking chair moving. Let's watch the video of that right now. Pay attention to the green chair. If you watch the video properly, you can see the chair was rocking back and forth. Half an hour later, he got a motion alert. Pay attention to that thing right above the shelf. Not sure how that happened, but Adam also stated he did not keep the windows open during the day. A lot of Adam's followers are now pointing out that sometimes the blue chair in the video would disappear and reappear. A few people realized that this was just a lighting issue and it was cleared up very quickly. On September 5th, 2017, Adam tweeted, it's happening again, to create a new thread on what's going on in his apartment. During the night on Saturday, while Adam slept, it recorded the cats in the living room. It seemed pretty unremarkable at first, but then after a few moments, Maxwell freaks out and jumps over something invisible. At the end of the video, it also looks like both of the cats are staring at something in front of them. Camera also recorded Maxwell standing up and staring at something on and off for hours. What was Maxwell staring at? Did he see David? Adam is 100% convinced that something has made its way into the apartment, and it is odd behavior from Maxwell in any event. Things feel off this week. I can't explain it. Something then happened when Adam was home. He hadn't even gotten to the pantry when he heard a loud crack. Let's take a look at this video. As you can see in the video, something fell from there. It was actually a small knitted cactus in a terracotta planter. It's completely busted now. 
September 16th, 2017. Nightmares and the return of the warehouse. Adam started having dreams about David again. He said, on the pillow next to me was a severed head with a bloody spine attached, snaking down the bed. The head was staring right at me, somehow still alive. It had this huge smile plastered on its face. Horrified, Adam screamed. What happened to you? The head smiled even bigger. It feels great, the head groaned. Adam passed the old warehouse again. He heard a thunk and curiosity got the better of him. He went to go explore inside. He held his phone up and took a picture and then ran for his life outside. This is what he got. It appears to be an old chair with a bunch of random things around it. A lot of people have seen faces within this picture. Here's one example of what a Twitter user claimed was a face with a dent on the side of its head, just like David. Here's another example. This time it's colored in so you can clearly see the dented headed person and eyes in the back. And here's that full image. One Twitter user went extreme with the filters and deep fried the image. You can clearly see someone at the door with a dent in their head, presumably David. September 22nd to October 5th, 2017. Adam in Japan. Adam tweets, the past few days have been fairly quiet. I haven't been spending much time at home. I leave for Japan in a couple hours. He hopes that after a couple weeks, this thing just leaves him after his trip. Adam thanks his Twitter following for the support and he goes to a votive tablet at the shrine in Japan. He asks them to protect his cats. In his last full day in Japan, something creepy happens. He was walking around looking at statues when he saw one that had a dented headed child in it, just like David. October 6th to October 14th, 2017. Electrical issues and more peephole photos. Adam is having a lot of electrical problems in his apartment the week he comes back. Two bulbs have burned out in his hallway and he's done with fixing it at this point. Adam got up to go get some water. That's when he noticed a faint light come on in the living room. After a few seconds, it went dark again. He then took peephole photos and started to analyze it and started putting together a face looking back at him. Here is a visual of what a Twitter user named Shane saw in the peephole. They also made a comparison of the baby he saw in Japan. October 15th to October 26th, 2017. The cleansing, the hearse, and the figure on the rooftop. Adam had a friend come over and cleanse the place, and for about a week or so, it worked. This was short-lived, however. The warehouse that Adam had mentioned in previous tweets was now open, and there was one thing inside of it now, a hearse parked in the back wall. Something very disturbing then happened in Adam's house. He saw something in the dark looking back at him. He managed to get a dark photo. However, Twitter users brightened it, and you can clearly see something is staring at him. After one Twitter user had brightened the image, you can clearly see a little boy, presumably David, looking back at Adam. November 5th, 2017. Photographic evidence. In the dream this time, something was different. Adam was still paralyzed and scared, but something was very different about David this time. This is where things get really scary. Adam managed to capture pictures of David in real life. Here are the darkened pictures. I will show you the brightened pictures as soon as these are done. Here are the brightened pictures. You can clearly see David in each of them. And with that dent in his head, as Adam described, November 6th to 16th, 2017, The Crawl Space, Part 1. Adam hasn't been updating much because he's investigating something and trying to find something substantial to share with us. Adam found something new out about his apartment. This is the sketch of what he thought his apartment looked like. He realizes that there's been a crawl space on top and it doesn't lead to the roof. It's some kind of attic area in his apartment. Adam then shows us how high up this hatch really is. He goes on to say how he never really thought about the hatch, but there's a three foot gap between that and the roof, something a child could probably fit into. He then redraws the schematics of his entire apartment accounting for this three foot gap. November 24th to 28th, 2017, The Crawl Space, Part 2. Adam's been away for Thanksgiving and he's now hearing noises above the ceiling. He ordered a pole to investigate it. The pole hasn't arrived yet, but it will be here soon and Adam plans to investigate immediately. Adam tried going to sleep, but he heard a crashing noise above him from the attic. He felt a strange energy around him after that. Adam then goes on to say that the crashing happened 15 times in a row. Then he heard what he thinks are footsteps in his apartment. He then decides to get the pole that he ordered and go investigate the crawl space.
On first glance, I thought a dead rat fell out of the attic. Apparently, it was a little shoe. His landlord then joined him to investigate, and he also found something. Adam assumed his landlord was about to be yanked into the darkness by some ghosts, but he came down and handed him this little marble with a dent on the side. Adam didn't have anything to report until December 6th. It had been a couple weeks. That night, he woke up with a weird feeling around him, the feeling that he associated with David. This happened frequently, and every time he would wake up, he would feel like he was being watched by David, so he downloaded an app that would take photos every 60 seconds and set it up on his bookcase. The next morning, he found terrifying photos on his camera roll. David was watching him in his sleep, and he had proof of it. The first hundred photos he went through was just him in an empty room. He notes that he left a couple lights on just in case anything showed up. The next picture is David in the room, staring at Adam. Here's a brightened photo of the incident. There are many more photos after this that I'm going to show you. The next photo from a minute later, he seems to be staring straight up at the ceiling, just staring. Then he appears to collapse on the chair. He's completely lifeless for a lot of the photos. There he is, this is the brightened version. About 15 photos later, he was back, standing next to the bed. It was just like the last time I saw him. He was on the bed, now inches from Adam's face, staring down at him in his sleep. Here's the brightened version of that picture, and you can clearly see the dent in his head from this angle. The next one was worse. In the next photo, he's staring right at the camera. Let me play the brightened version for you guys right now. There he is, staring directly at the camera with that dent in his head. Here's the final photo. The last one is David trying to get out of the frame running away from the camera. But somebody actually realized if you put all the photos together, you can see David moving the camera. I'm going to play that for you right now. At this point, Adam is exhausted, rightfully so, and all he wants to do is go to sleep. Adam decides to leave town and go to Montana to visit family for the holidays. He thinks it'll be nice to get away from this for a bit, but he didn't know it would follow him there. He started to browse for new apartments, but after a few days, he felt strange again, like something was staring at him moving outside the bathroom window. He did the logical thing and assumed the bathroom incident was an animal, since in Montana, animals are always roaming around. That's before he saw the footsteps outside. There were tracks behind the garage. He went to get a closer look, and they were footprints. Childlike, small footprints. December 27th, 2017 to January 2nd, 2018. Not so happy new year. For the past few nights, I've been using that app to take photos every couple minutes, but nothing has shown up. For whatever reason, it doesn't seem to work anymore, but I've left it running just in case. It's picked up absolutely nothing, save for one thing from last night. Adam had a dream about David. He dreamt that David was hovering in the corner by the ceiling, far off the ground. He was mouthing something, but I couldn't hear any words. In this dream, David plummeted downward, hitting Adam's chest. Adam woke up gasping for air, but he saw nothing around him. It knocked the wind out of him completely. Adam grabbed his phone from the dresser and actually caught this picture. David had actually plummeted onto Adam in real life. His dream was not just a dream. And here's the brightened version of that photo. The next day, Adam went to brunch with a friend and uploaded some Instagram stories. People started freaking out at one of the posts. Somehow, this picture got uploaded to Adam's Instagram story, and everyone was thinking that he got possessed by David. Adam was showing signs of possession, however. He was losing hours, and he wasn't remembering any of it. At this point, Adam is defeated and frustrated, and he just wants everything to go back to normal. January 27th to January 28th, 2018. The Mysterious Cat Video. This random video was uploaded on Adam's account. It shows a very, very odd angle, and his cat looks like it's spooked by something. This is very off-brand for Adam to do from this angle. As you can see, the cat is meowing at something. At this point, everybody thought Adam was possessed by David. Many people enhanced the contrast and claimed that they saw David's head superimposed over the cat. We wouldn't hear from Adam for about a week after this, and a lot of people were freaking out whether this was Adam or David. February 3rd, 2018. 
everything is fine. This was his only update, just three words. February 6th, 2018, a personal update, or is it? Adam decided to leave his full-time job after four years with the company. He's nervous about what the future holds and he knows this is not an easy choice. He wants to turn his attention towards personal projects. February 13th to February 14th, 2018, everything will be like it was before. Adam tweets, please don't worry about me. I'm okay and everything will be like it was before. It would be an entire month before we got this tweet from Adam. He reassures everyone that he's alive and doing okay, and he's staying busy with other projects, and then he'll update us if anything strange happens. And in an interview, he reassures us that everything he's experiencing is absolutely real. Since going viral on TikTok for the Dear David incident, Adam actually commented on my TikTok. A lot of people in my TikTok comments personally were claiming that Adam said it was fake, but Adam denied those claims. I hope you guys enjoyed this deep dive into Adam Ellis' paranormal haunting from 2017.